Hi, Jim Brinke here. Today we're going to be drawing a flying dragon. This is one of my favorite things to, to, to draw. I've done uh, several of these and I've also done a painting with this one and another dragon fighting. So let's get started and start with the dragon. Um, now if you like what I'm doing here uh, in my videos please subscribe if there are things you'd like to see or any comments you would like to make on what I'm doing please leave them in the comment sections below <coughs> excuse me I've got a cold so anyway we'll get busy on the drawing um, this dragon is uh, chosen for several reasons. I have the wings attached to the bodies so you can see how they're attached. And also I have the legs are foreshortened. So you'll get to see how you can foreshorten a leg that's coming at you and going away from you also. And that's why I chose this particular dragon, other than the fact that I really like drawing this one. And uh, we'll take it from there. Now, as I proceed with the drawing, you'll notice that uh, I changed the angle of my hands so to make it more comfortable with the drawing. Now, this drawing. This particular drawing, I'm not going to be doing any shading on it. So if you'd like to see some shading or how I shade, how would shade this one, please leave that in the comments below. And I can shoot another video and do the shading on this particular dragon. Now, in the weeks to come, I'll be doing other creatures and characters plus I will be doing some animals like dogs and cats and horses so you can see how I do these types of animals too I like drawing I didn't always like to draw <laughs> but I wanted to be a better artist and in order to be a better artist you need to learn to draw and so I worked at it um, it's not something that just came to me and I don't know of any artist that the drawing part just came to them we all have to work at it and uh, when you get working at it it gets to be a lot of fun now next w the next video I do I was gonna say next week I'm not I'm planning on doing it before that. Uh, the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to do one of my other favorite characters, and that's the Incredible Hulk. Um, I uh, grew up reading comic books when I was a kid, I, uh, which was quite a long time ago. Uh, and uh, I read... I read the comic books, they call them graphic novels now, but I, I read comic books of Superman and Batman and the Green Hornet, I read um, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, um, Captain America, and Iron Man. Now the Iron Man comics, when I first read those, Iron Man was just a solid yellow colored being and he uh, he looked kinda like a bunch of tin cans stuck together that were kind of rounded off and it wasn't until later in the series that they decided to change his look to make him more like what he looks today the the one they have today really looks cool and I've drawn him several times and I've drawn him in color too 
And if you'd like to see that one, you know, leave it in the comments. I'll do that too. Um, but I'm I'm here to do some drawing so that uh, you can see how they're done. And uh, I also want to do what you'd like to see. So, you know, leave me comments. And if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. Because then I know that there are people out there that really want to see what I'm doing. And if there's something you'd like to learn how to do, I mean, I, uh, I do a lot of portraits and I do them in pencil, charcoal, and I do them in pastel, and I do them in watercolor. And I have a few uh, wildlife landscape combination pictures I'm going to be doing. I've done some charcoal of wolves that were 18 by 24, and uh, they only take 15 minutes to do, so I can whip one out on here and put it on YouTube for you. Now, let's get back to our dragon here. Um, where I put the wings out, I, d I did one a week ago, and I did the limb coming from the body out to the claw, a uh, little too long and I was thinking if the dragon had it that long the first time I tried to fly it would break its wing so I shortened that limb and I put the part from the claw to the end of the wing I made that a little bit longer so it would be more realistic and uh, you'll notice that the left foot is coming towards you so you see the bottom of it which is what we're what I'm talking about is foreshortening. Now I'm going back over and making some of the lines darker so you can see them, and I've added a little, like um, I don't know what you would call it, like a wedge or a uh, fin on the end of the tail, and uh, I've added the little ribs on the back and we've got it pretty well completed here now we're just going to go over and make some of the lines a little bit darker and I think we can wrap this one up pretty much and like I've said uh, if there's something you want to see leave me a uh, message in the comments below uh, if you'd like to uh, subscribe so that I know that there's a a need or a want for this out here I will also note that so don't forget to subscribe if you like what you're seeing here and I do a new video every week at least one uh, this one's a little bit late because I had a little problem with my software. I just got some new software for the video editing and uh, it has a lot more options than I thought and I chose the wrong format when I went to convert it to a movie and YouTube didn't like it so I had to redo this one over but uh, we'll uh, call it quits here and uh, we'll see you next week and have a good week